you're live. Hi everybody and welcome. I'm Tammy from Nutmeg Notebook. So it's a really rainy day here in Northern California. We just have rain going a little while ago. We had a bunch of hail, then the sun came out for a while. So we don't know what's up with the weather today. It's crazy, but that's okay because we're nice and comfy cozy now inside the house. And I've been doing a little bit of cooking out of the new uh, vegan health bundle for 2024. And I just wanted to share some of that with you guys. So for those of you who have already ordered, thank you so much. We appreciate your support. And this will help you to navigate what's in the bundle so that you can choose some things um, that you might want to make that I have made. And that's really fun. So what I suggest that you do is that you get yourself a notebook and as you're going through the bundle and seeing things that look good, you make little notes like I have, what the name of the bundle um, submission was, and then the name of the recipe, if it's a recipe and what page it was on, or if it's a yoga program or an exercise program or one of the doctor's programs that you wanna go back and look into deeper later, make a note of it. That is the best way to get good use out of the bundle. So for those of you who don't know what we're talking about, the bundle is a collaboration by um, about 120 people in the plant-based community, doctors, yoga instructors, health enthusiasts, recipe um, developers like myself, professional shell, sh poo, professional chefs, need to slow it down so I can get my words out. Um, and it's just a, a really cool collaboration of our work that we've put together. There's 150 pieces of content for you because some people have submitted more than one item and it's valued at over $8,000. So if you had to go out and buy everything separately, that's how much it would cost you. But you get the bundle for $49. The catch is we only sell it for 10 days. So it started March 1st, which was Friday, and it will go through March 10th, but at 11.59, Pacific time on March 10th, it goes away and this particular bundle will never appear again. So it, the wonderful thing about the one we participate in is that it is new content every year. So this is our third year. The first year we had our batch cooking class. The second year we did, no, the first year we had our beautiful chopped salad class. Last year we had our uh, batch cooking with Tammy course. This year, what we have is a cooking for company, easy, plant-based, entertaining. You get my 10 menus, my instructions on how to make entertaining easy. These are my tried and true recipes. I've been doing this for 11 years this month. And these are the tried and true recipes that I have made for family and friends to rave reviews. So even my non-plant-based family and friends like these recipes and they ask me for the recipes. So um, we're just super proud. It's a 117 page uh, ebook and I give you the, the menus and hints and tips. And Tom has gone to a lot of work to make it super easy, friendly. And so you can see we have QR codes down in the corner. So if you decide to print it, you can use the QR code as a, a link to get to see any video or a blog post where we have more information about the recipe. If you're using it as a PDF, everything is hyperlinked within the um, PDF. So it makes it really easy for you guys to, to use. So you will get this as well as 149 other pieces of content. So I have been going through and um, writing down lots of recipes that I want to make. And one that I, I started yesterday, I got some things prepped for this yesterday, but then we did three lives yesterday and I did a cooking demo and I was just too tired to do any more um, last night. And so I finished this up this morning. So this is um, Brittany Gerudi's Swedish not, not meat meatballs. meatballs. 
and with a gravy. So these turned out really well. And of course, I cannot share the recipe, but you can get the recipe in the bundle. And so Brittany Giroudi and Dr. Um, Laura Marbus teamed up and they created a wonderful ebook. So Dr. Marbus goes through and tells you as a whole food plant-based eater, what lab tests you should request every year. And then she also goes through and tells you if your results say this, this is what it means to you as a plant-based eater. Really awesome. And then Brittany uh, made some recipes to go in that ebook. This is one of those. So I don't know about you guys, but when I was growing up, and for Tom as well, our moms made Swedish meatballs with a delicious gravy. They, of course, they served it over egg noodles. I tried to find like a flat, gluten-free, vegan noodle that would um, be similar. I couldn't find anything at my Whole Foods, so we're actually gonna have it over brown rice, which I think will be really delicious. So I just wanted you guys to see how the um, Swedish unmeat balls <laughs> turned out. Uh, they surprisingly look a lot like meat. It's amazing. And so, and they smell really good. They, they have um, all those flavors that I remember. So, and then I also made, it's a mushroom gravy that you make. They can see it, Tom, it's okay. You don't have to get up, honey. Um, you can see here, I wished I would have doubled the gravy because- I, I was just wanting to jump up because this is gonna be lunch, right? Yeah. So yeah, as this process- <laughs> You're excited. As this process evolves, <laughs> we did this yesterday. You get to eat. We're gonna get to eat at the end of this, yay. You're so excited. So, yeah, I watched her making the, the meatballs earlier today and, and it, was, it was the same technique that I remember watching. That your mom did? Yeah. Yeah, except I used a cookie scoop, the big, um, cookie scoop. I think it might be like a tablespoon and a half or so, and that's what I used. Um, Brittany said two to three tablespoons, but this was the size that my mom made, so I kind of wanted them to be like what my mom made. So anyway, um, and it made quite a bit. So, and Tom and I do like gravy. This would be good for somebody, you know, since we had the entertaining book. But this is like would be great for mixed company. Yes, absolutely. That somebody that wasn't necessarily whole food plant based. So yeah. Um, okay. Well, I'm going to get back I over agree. behind the camera, and I apologize. I might uh, Timmy may ask me something, and I'll answer from behind the camera. That's uh. You can pop in and pop out. It's yeah. okay. Okay. So what we're going to do now is I baked the meatballs, the un meatballs, um, and not meatballs. The non meatballs. Not not meatballs. <laughs> And I'm just gonna pop them in the gravy. I'm not gonna put them all in there because I think that these these look like they would freeze really well. And so, um, and I think I'll make another batch of gravy. So my first suggestion would be to double the gravy ingredients um, because I think this would uh, make more servings with the meatballs like this. So I'm gonna pass this off to Tom. He's gonna put it back on the stove. I was already heating up the gravy and we were just waiting for the meatballs to get done baking. And um, I'm also gonna give you this tray here. And on that burner, you have to, yeah, you have to go to that really low, um, I'm on Simmer. the little burner in yeah, front. Yeah, perfect, perfect. Okay, so then the other recipe that I want to show you is um, out of a really special cookbook that you will find within the bundle. And in fact, when you go to the bundle page, it's the first item on the top left row that you will see. And it is a collaborative spring cookbook. And everyone who is participating in the bundle was uh, given the opportunity to submit a recipe or more for the bundle that is a recipe that we don't have posted someplace else. And so AJ was like, I'm sure you all have, you know, a recipe tucked away in a notebook someplace that you haven't yet shared. Yeah, we'll go ahead and screen share and um, show you. So from all of us, spring group collaboration and it has 60 recipes, I believe. I can't read that from here. Oh, never before released, exclusive to this bundle only, special collection edition for only those who buy this bundle. Not, it's not gonna be 
available for sale for sale any any place else uh, right. ever. Over fifty spring themed recipes, 50. both raw and cooked, oil free from contributors to the twenty twenty four vegan health bundle. So there you go. Nice. And so yesterday we made a spiralized zucchini salad out of there. So if you joined us yesterday at lunch, you got to see me um, make that and it had a really delicious peanut sauce. And um, we ended up eating the rest of it for dinner last night. It was so good. So that was a real big hit. So like Tom said, this, this uh, ebook will go away after the bundle is over and it will never be sold again. So if you wanna get those um, over 50 special recipes, then that will be the place to go. So this is my tangy potato and pea salad. This is something that I was making um, years ago for my family in the summertime, the springtime, uh, and they loved it. And it had just kind of been tucked in the background for a while. And my daughter was like, you know what, mom, you should go back and revisit some of those recipes that you used to make and revamp them so that we can have them again. So that's what I did with this. So this is just those um, little red potatoes in the Midwest when my parents and my grandparents would have a garden. We would call them the new potatoes because the first potatoes they would dig up would be little red potatoes um, from the garden. And so I just um, boiled these. I'm not going to give you the recipe. I'm just going to kind of tell you what's going on. But if you want the recipe, you'll need to get the bundle. And so I'm, I went ahead and cooked these yesterday and then um, I decided not to finish it and I saved it for today. You can serve this hot room temperature or cold. It is good always. Yeah, yeah, give it a stir. Good job, honey. Because um, we, don't, we don't want it to start to boil because we don't want the little um, Swedish balls to break up. We want those to stay nice and hot. Um, and together okay. and so um, so you can you know make it and serve it right away hot you can make it and uh, put it in the refrigerator you can take it doesn't have any mayonnaise in it obviously um, it has a vinegar based dressing and so you can also take it to a picnic or a potluck and not have to worry about it um, sitting out at room temperature because it will be perfectly fine. So I just have this on cooked on keep warm now. It's cooked. It just everything's needs to keep, cooked. It just needs to be on keep warm. Yeah, we're okay. just just um, reheating reheating those okay. um, Swedish. Okay. Um, no well, you'll balls. hear it click on and off. Yes. The way that stove works. Yes. Okay. Okay. So and then of course here is the peas. Um, I didn't have fresh peas, and so I'm just using frozen. And I have to tell you, these are from. Trader Joe's, and it has some of the ugliest peas in it I have ever seen. Um, usually the frozen peas are perfect, but of course when you're doing a live cooking demo, that's not what happens. And so I just um, am going to add some peas to this, and you can just see, look at the color. I mean, wow, this just really is a beautiful salad. So always looks great on a buffet table. So we have that in there. And then I have a lot of fresh herbs that I want to add to it. And fresh herbs, when you guys are cooking, fresh herbs make such a huge difference in the flavor of whatever you are making. Plus they are full of medicinal benefits as well. And so don't discount fresh herbs. Now we do grow a lot of fresh herbs ourselves. So this basil came from our arrow garden that sits behind my sink. And um, we always have basil growing in it and we use it a lot. Tom likes to add it to his chopped salads every day. It's so delicious. And I have been using it like crazy lately. Um, it's so many recipes call for it. So if you were watching yesterday, I did make um, fresh spring rolls and we love to put the fresh basil in there. If you missed that live, you guys, you can go back and watch it. Also, if you're interested in purchasing the bundle, the affiliate link is in the show notes. So click on see more. I dropped it in the chat too. And, oh, and Tom put it in the chat too. So we only get paid 
for the, the bundle purchases that are made using our affiliate link. And so if you do choose to do that, we thank you in advance for your support. So Darlene's saying hi from sunny, warm Tucson, Arizona. Oh, nice. As we're looking out the window at hail and rain. Um, and um, Elaine Watkins got the bundle yesterday, downloading it now as she's watching. Great. Um, Mona is here again. Hello, Mona. Hi, Mona. Uh, Lois sends love from Tampa, Florida. Hi. And Boomer Beyond says congratulations on crossing the 50,000 subscriber mark. Oh, did, did? Yeah, we did that a few weeks back, didn't we? A couple weeks ago, yeah. Yeah, 50. That's so awesome. Well, thank you guys for being loyal watchers. We really appreciate that. And if you're new to our channel, welcome. We are whole food, plant-based, and we love to share about this amazing healthy lifestyle. And so we are um, promoting right now a healthy, uh, it's called the Vegan Health Bundle. And we're just so excited to be collaborating with all these amazing people in the plant-based community. So this is, oh my goodness, if we could just have smell-o-vision. This is, <laughs> smell -a -vision. yeah, smell-o-vision. This is just so wonderful. Let's see. I didn't bring over the trash can, so I'm just kind of... It. It's okay. I think I'm okay. I've got that little cup there, and I'm not making a whole lot. Okay. Okay, so I we've got... bring your compost bucket over. <laughs> I don't think I need it out here right now. I really like the smell of this. Okay, so then um, I also have some tarragon here. So we grow the basil, um, and then we also we have mint, cilantro and parsley and two kinds of thyme that are um, out in our winter garden. But our so, cilantro bolted. It so did. Now we've got, cor is that coriander now? Uh, yeah, it just doesn't have the same Cilant punch anymore. So um, as soon as this rain gets over, we'll need to pull, it. Uh, pull that and rework it. But we were very successful in growing cilantro. And I had read that it can be a difficult thing to grow, and so I was super um, relieved and excited that we were able to grow our own cilantro. It, it happens to be one of my fresh, my favorite fresh herbs. I know you either, you have the chemistry to like it or not like it, you can't help it if you don't like it, but I'm so glad that I get to enjoy it um, because I just think cilantro is amazing. Oh, I've got picture in picture on, I'm sorry guys, we don't need that. Oh, we didn't. Yeah. Uh -huh. Are you monitoring your little iPad on over there? Um, I haven't been. So if you have questions, you can put a question for me in the chat. Just preface it with two or three question marks and end with two or three question marks. And then that just helps your questions pop out at us. So, um, and we also thought that it was a good time to go on on the weekend because we know that so many of you have day jobs, doggone it, those day jobs just get in the way sometimes. And so we thought, well, today would be a really good day to go on live and um, be able to share with you some more wonderful recipes. Can I say that even though I'm making one of my own? Um, yeah, I can say that. Absolutely, why not? So here we go. We're getting it. I wouldn't be one to tell you what you should or shouldn't say. I'm not sure how much wisdom there would be in that. Ha, ha, ha. Very funny. Very funny. So um, I like to put the, um, well, Tom likes these to go in the compost, but I do like to put some down my garbage disposal mm. because it makes the sink area smell so yeah. good. Now Michigan, Julie's telling us that Michigan has 63 degrees. What is up? I don't know. Well, I think it was going to be 70 in Nebraska today. Yeah. You know, it's supposed to be nice and warm there too. So yeah. other places are having nicer weather. We're looking nicer outside weather. At, at little ice balls laying on the ground. Yeah, we did get out this morning though and we got Before to go for come. we got to go for a really nice walk, which was great, but our shoes got so muddy because we decided not to do our paved trail. Yeah. I don't know, what were we thinking? What I wanted were we to thinking? see the beautiful green grass. I, I wanted know. to see all of the, the, uh, 
the green the green fields and the vernal pools and all that. We gotta take the camera on and do a walk and talk over yeah, there. Yeah, we will. So so we went to a different trail this morning, you guys, and then um, part of it is paved and then part of it is off trail. I could go get your shoe and bring it in and oh, show Oh no, them. don't. <laughs> We're so embarrassing. It's and proof then, on how tough you really are. I know. And then we went to Walmart afterwards. Oh my goodness. And because we needed to get our salad stuff because we're out of salads. So I've got a salad prep um, yet today. And so we decided, well, let's just go ahead. We're already out and it wasn't raining right then. Good time to go. And then we got out of the car. And as we're going into Walmart, Tom looks down. And he's like, oh, our shoes are covered in mud. Oh, my goodness. We looked like vagrants. We really looked like vagrants. But... That's okay. And then when we were checking out, I told Tom, I caught the elderly lady in line behind us going like this, staring at our shoes. She was like totally wondering like, where have you two been already Sunday morning that your shoes look like this? So anyway, I'm going to... Um, Wait, okay. Are you, you're, you're moving food? I want to catch I it. Well, I'm, gonna, I'm going to um, add my dressing Okay. first and then I'm going to stir those in. So I love to have little wire whisks. Um, I have like three or four of these little ones. I've got, you know, wire whisks in a variety of sizes, but these are great when you just have a small amount of liquid that you need to um, whisk together. So I'm not going to use all of this because I made a smaller amount of potatoes because I think that later in the week I will probably be doing... Um, yet another demonstration, um, perhaps of this salad. And so I thought, well, I have everything to make it. I'll do half today. Oh, that's not a very nice looking potato. We'll toss that guy. Okay. Oh, this just smells so good. So good. So now we are just going to add these. I know it's going to be so good. And then we're gonna stir this. Now, I really like it better the second day, but look at that. Look at how beautiful that is. So pretty, look, yum. Okay, so after it's chilled a little bit in the fridge, I just feel like, you know, the flavors just really pop then. But so the heat, if you're serving it while the potatoes are hot, then the heat does um, help activate all the little oils that are in those fresh herbs. Do you want to talk about why you're going from one the yeah, stirring I just, bowl versus the, the well, because bowl. so you guys can see it better. I needed this bigger bowl so I would have stirring room, um, but I wanted to plate it in this just so you could see what a pretty salad this is. It makes for a beautiful presentation. So we can probably shut that off, Tom. What do you think? And then I'm going to put some in a little bowl for us to um, eat. No, I, I, it's just it's just warm. It's not. It's not know, hot yet. No. Well, you can go ahead and bump it up just a bit then, because I'm going to be ready to plate it here. But we can do a taste test of this first. Okay. Oh, you're, are we going to do a taste test? Yeah. Now, if you wanted to... I have to get into position for that. Get in position. If you wanted to, you could, um, you could add a little bit of, of scallions. Those are really nice in the springtime. Um, you could also... You could, so the big white bowl is mine and the little white bowl is yours? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What's happening? Uh, of course. Look, so yummy. Oh, I cut the little bowl off. I'm sorry. It's okay. There we go. Yeah, and then I'll just sprinkle a little more on top. And um, this happens to be one of our daughter's favorites. Um, even as a kid, she liked things that were vinegary and tangy or sour things. Um, she really liked all of those. So there we go. Up higher. Up higher. Yeah. How's that? It's, it's just so pretty, looks beautiful. Let me check the focus. Looks it's beautiful focusing on, on a... It's focusing on your face and not on the salad. So oh. I got to move the focus. 
now put it in there. There you go. Yeah. That nice. should be a clearer picture. Okay, cool. Great. Okay, so we will, here, I'm going to hand you this and let you put that back behind. And I'm going to go ahead and chop a little bit of um, parsley just to put some parsley on top of the um, the Swedish no meatballs. Because it just, you know, if you have a little bit of garnish, it just really finishes off the plate. And I say, you know, why not make our food pretty when we eat it? You know, it's so enjoyable when you go to a restaurant. Okay, or... so, so Kay Paris is, is chiming in from Oregon. We have better weather than they do. They're freezing up there. Oh, they are? Yeah, freezing rain. Oh, I'm so sorry. And, and Kate's liking that blue sweater. Oh, thank you so much. It is the first time I've worn it all winter. Yeah. Here, Lois has a good question. Would this, would this uh, potato dish take the place of your chopped salad, or is this something you would add on to as a side? Oh, yeah, you know, this wouldn't take place of it because, you know, this doesn't have enough um, greens in it um, to replace our lunchtime salad. You could certainly chop your salad and have your other items on there, garbanzo beans, white beans, all the other um, things that you like, and then put a nice big scoop of this with it. That would be perfectly fine. Um, that would work, but no, it doesn't, it won't replace that. Um, it does have some starch, but it just doesn't have enough of the yeah, greens. Yeah, and you add in it a variety us. of starches to the top of your salad sometimes anyway. And so this could just be one of those little piles of starch that you add to, Absolutely. Your, add to your greens. Oh, because I like to take leftovers. Right here now. Okay, I like to take leftovers and add different kinds of leftovers to my chopped salads. So, um, but good question. That is a really good Wait, question. Wait, so you're eating out of the big bowl and I'm eating the little no. bowl? No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm going to explain something to you guys. Tom is the middle kid of six kids. And when it comes to food, he really does not like to share. He does not like to share food. And if he's dividing something up for us, like if he makes the sm um, smoothie and we div and he divides it into exactly two jars. Exactly and precisely. Oh, no, his always gets just a little bit more. No, than no, they're exactly no, and precisely the uh -uh. same. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Mm -mm. Yours always has just a little bit more. The psychiatrist calls it middle mm. child syndrome because you would catch grief from both ends of the sibling spectrum. A little bit of freshly ground black pepper. Yeah. I may have to hope that none of my siblings are ever going to watch this video. They won't. They're nope. not interested in eating like we do. Okay. So get, get some potato, get some pea. Oh, it's nice and tangy. Mmm. Mmm. Wow, it's a surprise. It's so good. Mm -hmm. I think the last batch of this that I made when I was taking pictures of it for the ebook, mm -hmm. I ended up eating the whole thing because you didn't know. I don't remember eating this. I was going to say because you were like, you didn't know if you should eat it or not eat it. Did she take her pictures? Should she did not take her pictures? And mm -hmm. I think I ended up eating the whole thing by myself. So this recipe. Not in one day. This recipe is in the bonus collaboration, mm -hmm. springtime recipes from mm -hmm. a variety of collaborators. Mm. Okay. So good. The dressing is really tangy. And then we have all the fresh herbs mm -hmm. in there. And they're so good. <laughs> Mona wants to know who got the bigger pizza pie yesterday. Mm. He actually cut it right down the middle. And we each had an equal amount of it. Mm. It was so good. And I got and a, a very sharp knife. <laughs> he did. And was very precise. He was. Yep. So, but thank you for your concern, Mona, <laughs> to make sure that I got my, my uh, I, I shouldn't probably use the word fair share, my desired share. Well, maybe she's more worried about me getting the short end of the stick. It says, does Tom, did Tom get his bigger piece yesterday. Mm. You always have access to the food. I only sometimes have access to the food. That's not true. Oh, okay. Is there a padlock on that fridge? No. That's what I thought. Okay. Mm. All right, well, we should put this off to the side. 
I'm going to munch on this off screen. What are we doing with them Swedish meatballs? That is so good. Okay. So do we need to, I need to move some stuff for you. Please. Okay. I'm going to go back to your Tammy cam. Okay. That's good. All right, you guys. So if you're, if you have just joined us, um, I'm sharing some recipes from the 2024 vegan health bundle that we are participating in. And so this is um, our piece of work that we have in the bundle. This is my new e-cooking book. This is Cooking for Company, easy plant-based entertaining. All of these recipes are whole food plant-based SOS free, which stands for salt, oil, and sugar free because that's how I cook, that's how I eat. When I'm cooking for company, I will add salt to um, some of these dishes because if I don't, and the people that I have over don't eat like me, the food is gonna taste really flat to them without that extra salt. If you don't wanna add the extra, it's not extra salt, but just some salt. If you don't wanna add the salt when you're cooking, make sure you give them a salt shaker and the pepper grinder and let them add some of that to the meal. Um, otherwise, it, the food it just is not gonna taste that good to them because they're used to having their food be doctored with salt, oil, and sugar. And it does take anywhere from 30 to 90 days to neuroadapt to not having those in your food on a regular basis. So Tom and I don't have any hypertension or heart problems. We don't have any health condition that a little bit of sodium in, um, in one meal is gonna be a it's just not going to be a problem for us. Okay, so if you want to bring those three things over, then that would be awesome, Tom. So, um, and I just made the tangy um, potato and pea salad with lots of fresh herbs. And that recipe is in the collaborative spring cookbook that is only available in the bundle. And, um, it won't be available after the bundle is over. So if you want to get those 50 recipes that are in there, you need to do it now. And let's see, I'm going to just do this. Move yeah. that board out You're of the way. You're done with the board? So I can pull it over here. Well, I just, I need some of the... If oh, you I'll leave me, it. It's, out of, it's off camera. Okay, it's fine. I just need those to sprinkle yeah, over it's the not, top. It's not blocking you. Okay, face. so like I said, the um, Swedish meatballs, my mom always served those over egg noodles. Well, obviously, uh, we eat a whole food plant-based diet. We're not going to eat egg noodles. And then I also happen to be gluten-free. So I know there are some no egg noodles that you can get. But I also happened to be gluten free, and I only I had time to go to Whole Foods, and I didn't find anything there, and that was suitable. And so I thought, well, we could use like um, gluten free penne pasta would have been okay. Um, but we have rice already made, so I'm just going to go with brown rice. I think this will work really well. It will soak up the gravy which will be nice. And, you know, we'll still get all the wonderful flavors from the gravy and the Swedish balls. Now, let's see. Oh, this does feel like it's nice and hot. And so here these are. They've warmed up really nice and they've held together really well. So the thing that I always worry about with um, making a plant-based version of a no meatball is that they're going to break up and dissolve when they're simmering. But these did well. Actually, I think I'll use this because it has a longer handle. And then, oh my goodness, look how beautiful this is. Absolutely gorgeous. So we're just going to spread those out and maybe do one more here and get a little more of that gravy. All oil free, 
salt free, absolutely beautiful and delicious. And then I have a little bit of broccoli that I steamed because I thought broccoli with this would look really pretty or um, some carrots would be nice or some Brussels sprouts would look really nice. And then before we dig in, Tom, I am going to want to take a picture. And then just a little bit of some fresh parsley over the top is just perfect. Oh, this smells so amazing. Let me wipe my hands off. And then let's look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Yeah, we've been looking at it. You've been looking at it. Yeah, I look had a close at that. up going the whole time. Look at that. Oh my goodness. It's just, I'm super excited about this. And I'm going to grab my phone here and snag oh, a food picture. Food photography. Food photography. Here, just got to get. And the sun's coming out. That's always uh, perfect for taking pictures if you can go by a window. But we're going to make do with this. Why is my phone doing something? It's asking me if I want to remove the app. Why is it asking me that? Okay, here we go. Wow. This looks gorgeous. I'm so excited to try this. And somebody asked me a few months ago um, if I had a recipe for Swedish meatballs because they were really missing them. And um, so whoever that is, I hope you're watching so that you can give this a try. All right. So this recipe is also out of the bundle. And this is from the Dr. Laura Marbus and Brittany Giroudi PDF that you will find. And so um, the recipes are at the back half of that. And I think I'm going to slide my chair over, Tom. Okay. And um, uh, while you're down. doing that, Kate's asking, are the frozen peas cooked before adding to the potatoes? Yeah, you, you blanch them. And so when you cook the potatoes, then you just throw them in the water for like the last... 30 uh, to 60 seconds and then pull them out um, mm -hmm. because if you let them cook too long then they totally lose their vibrant green color. And so, Jen, and Jenna said she got the bundle yesterday looking forward to trying some things out and, and on that note I'm you know suggesting to people that that um, kind of stay tuned because we're discovering ourselves new things every day from the bundle and sharing we are and so even though you may have already picked up the bundle that's great thank you congratulations uh, then the, the, the magic is to find the gems that are in the bundle and so uh, so those are the explorations that Tammy's making now so yeah absolutely and, and um, Mona can... asks is the gravy with the recipe it is so you get the Swedish not meatballs recipe as well as the gravy recipe. And so um, the two just go together. And I think this looks really good with the rice. I'm, I'm so pleased with myself. <laughs> so uh, it's great. These are really looking good. I'm so excited. So oh. if I get a good shot here, then I won't have to do another um, perfect plate later, you guys. And then I'll be able to just use this one. So my family is so used to waiting for me to give them the okay to eat stuff until after I get the shot. So, all right. Well, we should, we should give this a taste. I have my fork in my hand. Okay, good. And so here's the two things that we got made today. So we did the potato, the tangy potato pea salad that is out of the collector's um, spring book that is in the bundle. And then also the Swedish knot meatballs um, with gravy over rice. So let me see if 
I can get a shot of the two of these a little bit like this. Great. All right, one more. Okay, all right, let's have a taste. Okay, so has anybody who's already bought the bundle made anything out of it yet? Because yesterday, um, when, or Friday, when we were on just talking about the bundle, telling you guys about it, somebody bought it, downloaded it, and was baking cookies before we were off the air, which I thought was really fun. I love that. Mm. You have to bite them. They're not falling apart. Mm, not at all. Oh, they're so meaty. Mm -hmm. That's so, isn't that crazy? I should have forked mine in half before I tried to bite it. <laughs> mm -hmm. Very, very good. Mm -hmm. The no meatballs are, um, what do I want to say? Dense. They're dense. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You feel like you've really got something. And that wonderful mm -hmm. texture. I will tell you that... You did say something about doubling the gravy. I would. I, I want more gravy. Mm -hmm. I would definitely double the gravy. Mm -mm -mm. I'm trying to get some of this and some of that. Very good. Um, mm -hmm. I was going to say something. Oh! The recipe did call for some breadcrumbs, whole wheat breadcrumbs, which of course I didn't have. And because I'm gluten free, I substituted um, an equal amount of almond flour instead. And it worked great. So you do need a food processor to make these. Good, huh? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. A hearty lunch. Mm -hmm. Oh, here. Okay. I oh. love black pepper. Do you guys like black mm -hmm. pepper? <laughs> I really like black pepper. Kim says that they made, uh, oh, they made your quinoa minestrone soup today. Mm. And now she's making the, the scrum, the, the, those scone oh, muffins. Oh, scuffins. Scrumpins, uh, scuff, scuffins, yeah. Um, it's a mushroom gravy, Jenna. Jenna says, how would you describe the gravy? I miss gravy. Mm. Well, I have a mushroom gravy recipe in my um, book as well that goes with one of the holiday meals. Um, and so this is a mushroom gravy. And um, so, I mean, it tastes like, it tastes like gravy. Mm -hmm. And I had a little bit of depth seasoning. I'll grab it from a uh, local spicery. Just to give it more umami. And yeah, which gives it an umami flavor. And so um, I did add about a teaspoon of this. It's called depth, intense umami flavors. And this is from local spicery, um, just because we really like that flavor profile. And so um, I just added that to it. I think I've been helping you eat this off camera. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's okay. You go right ahead. That's good. So, um, so Kim made the quinoa minestrone soup, which is in my ebook that's in the bundle. And it makes a lot. It freezes well. Um, our grandkids will eat it. It, it will feed a crowd. Um, you can feed a lot of people with that. It's a good one for potlucks and entertaining. I added kidney beans to that one time. It does have kidney beans in I it. I added more kidney beans to it. <laughs> I added uh, eight ounces of kidney beans to it. Tom likes... Beans. Beans. And he really likes the big red kidney beans as well. Do you want that? You can have it. Okay. I'm going to bring... I'm going to go over here. Mm. <laughs> if your mic's on, we'll still be able to hear you chew. I might put it on mute. <laughs> ah, okay. Um, do you use the depth in soups? Well, it depends on, on the soup. Like, I don't use it in the minestrone. 
um, soup. So it would depend on the soup. But if you're doing um, maybe a different kind of um, what we would have called like a, a vegetable beef soup, um, something like that, you could um, definitely use it in that. I, I use it in gravies and savory dishes. You can add it to like a lentil soup, let's say, a vegetable lentil soup. You could add the depth to that. Any, any place where you don't mind having that kind of dark, earthy, um, mushroomy kind of flavor. So um, definitely in gravies, it's really good. So I don't always write recipes to include it because not everybody can get it and depending on where you live. And there are um, umami like flavored um, spices that you can get at different places, but they usually have salt in them and it's quite often it's the first ingredient will be salt. So um, Tom, Stephanie says that you would love the Christmas lima beans from mm. Rancho Gordo. I'm not a fan of lima beans. I he'd, like lima beans. I know you do. I'm not, a, I'm not a fan of them. So he'd have to find somebody to cook those for him. Or you could cook them. I know a guy that can cook beans. I know a guy who can cook beans. Absolutely. So, okay. I say his rice is really good too. He does make really good rice. He does. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's really chowing that down, you guys. We're down to this. <laughs> <laughs> That's what happens. Okay, uh, Jenna says, how's the salad? Oh, we tasted it already. It's absolutely delicious. Um, and it's my recipe, so we already knew that we liked it. I'll enter Rose. Um, oh, sure. I think you're talking about this pot. That is um, this old stainless steel yes. pot that's that, that 50 actually years old. Is the you may have heard from years ago a company called Amway, which became something else, which I don't even know if they're still in business. But that was originally made by Salad Master, which mm -hmm. is still you know a premium mm -hmm. stainless steel cookware. Uh, today, I bought that set 50 years ago. That that pot is. 50 years old, and we were fortunate to be able to snag uh, a new handle on Amazon that fit it, and away we go. So we have a full set of this uh, a technically Salad Master um, uh, lifetime guarantee pots and pans. So I don't see any reason why they won't last my lifetime because they, they've gone this far. Right. Absolutely. Oh, so, so Jenna joined us late. That's why she was asking about the salad. So Jenna, this salad is the tangy potato and pea salad that is in the bundle. And it's in the uh, spring collection of recipes that um, we created. It's, there's a little over 50 recipes from different contributors in the bundle, all put into a cookbook that is just for you guys, just for this bundle. And so the, it this will not right be, here. yeah, it will not be for sale afterwards from all of us spring group collaboration, um, spring recipe cookbook. And so uh, I've made three different things I think now out of that book and everything's been delicious. And so we're really, really happy with it. What would you suggest as the first three recipes to look through or are you still experimenting from all of the resources? Um, well, you know, it really, it's a great question. The spiralized was really good yesterday. Yeah, that was out of the, I would look in the spring cookbook um, for one thing because they are springtime recipes, which, you know, I think we're all like tired of all the heavy meals from the comfort foods of winter, at least I am. I'm ready for lighter fare and spring flavors and, and textures and the foods. So definitely look in there. There's um, a huge collection of delicious looking recipes in there. And of course, you need to check out mine. What about that Oh um, My Pie? Yeah. I don't know if you guys saw the Oh My Pie. Yesterday. Yesterday, I put it on Facebook, and um, 
this is the oh my pie so and this is out of my cookbook and this is a brand new recipe and so it has a like a chocolate cookie crust and then two layers of nice cream and then and it's a chocolate peanut butter pie and then a mm. chocolate peanut butter drizzle chocolate drizzle to go over it and then um, peanuts on top so uh, tom and i had a piece of it yesterday and it was very delicious so and it's a frozen pie um, pretty easy to make uh, and absolutely delicious so definitely get that and then um, you know if uh, it depends on what kind of recipes you're looking for there's raw recipes and so uh, Lissa's um, hand salad wraps definitely get that um, look at that because it's just incredible she makes these wraps that are dehydrated um, I've been making them because I bought her class when it became uh, her online class when it became available um, last year and I've been making them ever since and so they're gluten-free they're dehydrated they're raw and they're made out of fruits and vegetables and probably stuff that you already have at home um, chef Julia's uh, book looks amazing it's volume two of her Tom that is too noisy no there's one bite left Tom <laughs> one bite <laughs> I'm easily distracted by noises sounds um, so uh, get chef Julie open up chef Julia's um, I she has a tofu mushroom lettuce wrap she has uh, the no oil fried rice uh, she has uh, soups main entrees baked tofu um, just uh, breakfast greens all just all kinds of amazing things in there and a rice paper bacon recipe which that really caught my attention in the group collaboration spring book yesterday we made the Thai peanut zucchini spiral salad and we ended up eating the whole thing and it was so delicious of course my tangy potato tangy potato and pea salad um, there's a spring brunch quiche in there and a potato crusted quiche uh, that I thought looked amazing. There's recipes for poke bowls with sweet and sour tempeh. These are things that I wrote down that I intend to make. How did you come up with these? How did you? I went through and looked. You so through. I I have all of the yeah. I have all of the content on my iPad. So Tom downloaded. Uh, the bundle content onto my iPad and so each PDF is on here in my files in its own little file and so the little picture shows up when I open up my files and then I just pick which one I want to look at and then I just scroll through it but then in my notebook in order to keep track this is why we are nutmeg notebook because you have to have notebooks for everything <laughs> <laughs> notebooks Keep you organized. This is actually the Vegan Health and Weight Loss Bundle 2024 notebook. That's why it says Bundle 2024, because that's where my notes are and that's where I know to go for the information I want. So then I just make a list. I do the page number and the name of the recipe and at the top which um, ebook it was in. Uh, there's a creamy asparagus soup in there, a spicy apricot mango soup, which is a raw soup, but you dehydrate some of the ingredients. And I have some fresh mangoes, and that's one of Lissa Morris's recipes, and it looked amazing. Deep dish little mini berry pies that I thought looked incredible, and I think my grandkids, the grandkids would like them. Jam Jam Muffins by Drina Burton, and then I also made her berry scuffins. I made strawberry and blueberry, and we preferred the blueberry. The scuffins would be one of the first things to try, just because they're so darn much fun. Probably they're, to make and especially to eat. It does use um, plant-based unsweetened yogurt, and I use the Kite Hill yogurt. The brand is Kite Hill, Hill, so Kite, K-I-T-E, Hill, H-I-L-L, -L, and it's made from almonds, and it's one of the most clean, commercially um, available plant-based yogurts. So um, best of very veganish uh, 
she had a sweet soy ginger dressing that I made a note of that I wanted to make. Amanda Sick has a book called Simply Sweet. And so if you want desserts, look in that. She if you has, wish you, you were taking notes of this right now, but and you're not, you can go back and play the replay and take notes. This video will stay up until March 11th. We'll and you can pause the video um, so that you can write. And Amanda, in her Simply Sweet, I made a note that there were peanut butter chocolate chip cookie dough balls um, that looked really good and I, it was something that I thought that the grandkids would like and we have one one of our granddaughters doesn't like chocolate and so I thought instead of chocolate chips in that I could use raisins for her. Um, Better Food Guru uh, kale and bean chopped salad looked amazing. Best cucumber salad udon noodles with a peanut butter sauce and shaved Brussels sprouts and a blueberry salad. So the shaved Brussels sprouts with blueberry salad. I thought that that looked really interesting um, and amazing. And then broccoli mum, if you like Indian food, um, she has a, just a beautiful ebook packed full of a ton of Indian recipes. And so some of it, like, I don't even know how to pronounce the names of things, but she had gluten-free naan, lentil buns, um, chana masala, aloo gobi, if, you, if I'm saying that right, the potatoes and cauliflower dish. Um, seriously, everything that I read, all of the ingredients sounded good and, and the pictures looked great. And I thought I, I would eat anything in this book. Um, Debbie Adler has a fake and bacon that's made, hers is made with mushrooms. The Chef Julia one is made with rice paper wrap. Um, she had a, um, I didn't write down the name of it, but it was a breakfast sweet potato toast with the, um, the shiitake mushroom fake and bacon, and um, it's all made in the oven. I thought that looked delicious. So that was Debbie Adler. And um, Donna Spencer has plentiful fare. She had Italian rustic blueberry, um, like a rustic pie. So you don't make it in a pie plate, you make it on a cookie sheet, and then you put the filling in and then just bring all the, the um, pie crust up over it. And then the center is open. She had pickled red onions. She had a lot of recipes that looked really good, kind of um, kind of home cook kind of stuff looked good. Dr. Furman's infection protection. Yesterday I made his spring rolls with peanut butter dipping sauce. I made a tofu scramble that was in his 20 day food plan. The but spring rolls are really, really, really good. It was like going to a upscale um, restaurant, mm -hmm. those things had really just so delightful. Watch, you can watch yesterday's um, video, on video for cooking. Of course, um, Laura Marvis and um, Brittany Giroudi, the Swedish knot meatballs with gravy. She also had uh, peanut butter cookies on page 50 that looked good and an apple crumble on page 51 that I marked because, you know, a lot of things I marked because I thought it looked like things that my that the grandkids would eat. Um, Drina's Kind Kitchen, uh, the collard wraps looked really good. Um, and um, there is a pepita cheese. And so it is kind of like a pimento cheese, but you are making it with pumpkin seeds. And so I thought that looked really interesting as well. Um, Rebecca Stoner has a book called Plant-Based Pizza, and she does have a gluten-free pizza crust in there that I thought looked good as well. So that's as far as I got at this um, point in time. So I got through the S's, or at least up to the S's. Um, also, you wanna tell them about the list that um, they've added to the Yeah, the and page. do you know when that was, was it added before the first? I don't first? know, I don't know. Yeah, there, there is a list that we found out from UWL Bundle Support uh, that is a PDF listing all of the files that would be in the download so that you know, you can make sure you've got the downloads. If you're looking for one and can't find it, you can check it's on the list and, and that you have it in your files. Uh, the files are big, depending on your device. Some, sometimes folks are, are 
inadvertently missing a file if they're downloading individual. So I don't exactly recall what we did. I did some kind of a zip file and downloaded it all at once into Tammy's iPad. Um, so so I, that really varies. If, have any, if you need any help with that, then contact uwlbundle at gmail.com. And that, that address, should you need it, is right, I'll show you, uh, on the main page. So um, if you just use yeah, our main link page here, to go to that page. And that takes you here to you know all of the contributors uh, and a little brief description about their contribution. But up here in the upper right hand corner, sorry for the scroll, is uh, um, terms and uh, uh, more info. How do I contact support for this bundle? So all of that uh, is, is here. So anyway. Perfect. Okay, so Lucy says, can we, can we save this video so that we can access it later for, um, to reference to it again? And, but this, they'll take this video down after the bundle's over because then, yeah, then this it video just is, confuses uh, people. Spending uh, a, a lot of conversation about, um, you know, I think there's a way on your, on your computer for you to download the video for your own use onto your computer. You could possibly do that. Mm, yeah. There's a download this video button somewhere. Uh, I use a special program for that. If I'm gonna download one of our large live videos and pull out a specific recipe or something, I'm using a, a specific program for that that is a standalone from YouTube. I think you can do a download from YouTube. It's just the quality, the image quality is, is, is not, you know, not HD necessarily. Right, or go back and just take some yeah, notes. watch it in the next week and week, and then uh, take get, notes. You, and, and take some notes. So um, or or yeah, or you could just um, you could video record what I'm saying on your phone. Yeah, that's true. Then it would be use voice record on your phone, because it's just this. You know, Tammy's just reading from her notes. So that's yeah. a good idea. Use voice record, play the video, and, and record it so you can revisit it later. Exactly. So and then we'll be coming on live again over the next few days. We go until the tenth. We'll be doing something every day on each of our um, channels and, and also like today I sent an email out to everyone. I didn't do any emails yesterday. Uh, this is a busy time for email, emails, this 10 days. I, I typically try to not email more than once, twice a week at most, but, but um, I reserve the right to email you every day for the next uh, seven remaining days and then we'll be done with that. Right. Uh, that's why on one of my emails, the first one, I think I, I titled the email, and so it begins. That's the bad news. The good news is it only lasts 10 days. <laughs> and so it will end. And so it will end. Elaine says, so it was Drina's scuffins that you made yesterday? Yes. Yeah, and those was, were just, yeah, I just I, bit Oh, I didn't the, make them yesterday. I can't yeah, remember. I made the, them a few days ago. Yeah. But that recipe is in the spring collection book, the one where the contributors um, the very first one in the yeah. in the scroll. So it's in that one. Um, let's see what else. Elaine says, "Ooh, gluten free nan, yay! I know, right?" Um, let's see. Um, there is a list there of authors in alphabetical order. Yes, yes, there is. So uh, Elaine says, "I totally agree. I create my own planners and notebooks because I'm such so into notes." Yes, me too. I just, I have like, I have these for everything. It's the only way I can keep things straight. But then if I can't find one of them, if it gets misplaced, I'm like, oh, where's my notebook? You have a whole pile of notebooks on your desk. I do, like, because I've got one, I have one for, you know, it's just better just to have, have one for all the different yeah. things that oh, we one, do. Well, you have more than one for recipe development. I don't know if you have them by you know salads entrees no, desserts no. Or they're it's just, just how i those go those are kind of date chronological. and then as the as when it's full then it gets yeah uh, and moved then to the back then we have a, a holland bull mill book for our resources for chopped salads for creating chopped salads we have vitamix uh notebook for to record our conversations with our our agents at vitamix and keep track of what's going on there we just have them for all the vendors and yeah all the different people that we collaborate with and um so keep notes so tomorrow we'll be back on at um 11 pacific time with mm -hmm. sid nodder 
and I, I believe tomorrow that she's going to talk about bone health, which is a really important topic for us ladies. Not that it isn't also for men, but it is um, more of a sense of urgency for women. As well, we don't give as we much, aging. we don't give up as much calcium during childbirth as women do. Yeah. So, um, Belinda, there is a gluten-free uh, recipe for Nan in the Broccoli Mums uh, Indian cookbook that is included in the bundle that we're talking about. So, it is the the um, Vegan Health Bundle for 2024, and it's on sale mm. now, and we are in it. And I'll drop, this the, is, I'll drop the link in the chat one last time. Okay, and this is our contribution. So you'll get our contribution along with uh, like 150 other pieces of content, a value of $8,000, but you get everything for $49. And it's all e-books, so you won't be receiving a um, paperback book or a hard book. You will be getting a PDF file for each contribution. And there's also coupons in there, there's classes, there's yoga instruction. Weightlifting. Weightlifting, how to organize your house. Um, uh, some doctors have some programs in there. Dr. McDougall has a three video program all about gut health. It sells for $90 on the McDougall website. Dr. Furman has one on there um, about how to protect yourself from infection the Any, labs book the labs guidebook from uh, dr Lori and Brittany. dr laura marbus tells you if you're whole food plant-based what labs that you should be getting and what it what the results mean when you get the results so um, there's also coupons in there coupon for date lady coupon for balsamic vinegar um, for mm -hmm. tracy's um, foods. Uh, joy. Jo joy. Joy plant-based milk. milks. Yes. So you'll want to check those because those will have an, those coupons will probably have an expiration date. I haven't even gotten a chance to um, look at yeah. those. So and just know that if you bought the bundle last year, this bundle is all completely different content. So the vegan bundle changes every year we're never allowed to submit the same material, the same twice. material twice and so every year it's completely new content a lot of people and like us created new content to put in the bundle plentiful kiki is in there there are some raw food people one of my favorite ones is Lissa um, Morris's hand salad. Raw food romance. From Yeah, from raw food romance, her hand salad ebook. I bought it last year from her and have been using it ever since. And because you paid more for it than what the bundle cost. I can't remember how much I yeah. paid for it, but around the around that but, price. Right. It might've been $39. Okay, well within $10, but, yeah. But um, it was around that price. so. So anyway, and yeah. I make those wraps, and we love those, and um, and they're gluten free. Yeah. Our ebook, this year's ebook, which we are launching for the moment exclusively in the bundle, uh, will go on sale as a standalone after the bundle for twenty seven dollars and fifty cents retail price. And so this one item in in real life is going to cost half the price of the bundle the day after the bundle closes. So. Um, so get the bundle and get all the other 150 pieces of content. Even if you only use three or four things out of the bundle, it will be worth it because yeah. you would have spent more money than the $49 to get that, yeah. those many pieces of yeah, content. Yeah, you may know that you like Drina Burton's recipes. You may already know that you like Kathy Hester's uh, recipes or her cooking classes, you know, and she's got, you know, a couple of offerings in there. Yep. So straight folks up, that, folks Kathy that, from Straight Up Food. Foods. So folks that you know you already you know, resonate with from, in a, from a culinary standpoint, it, it's worth it because you already know in advance, you know, um, some of those folks that you like their work, yeah. like their recipes. So our affiliate link for the bundle is in the show notes. And in the and chat. And also in the chat. And we do only get paid for the sales that are made through our 
own affiliate link. So um, if you use ours, thank you so much for your support. Yeah. If you want to learn how to cook for company and have a complete plant-based guide to entertainment with 10 ready to rock and roll meals, this is menus. Menus. This is your book. There and you it's go. In the bundle. All right. So perfect. If you guys would give us a thumbs up for this video, it really helps our ratings on YouTube. And thank you for commenting in the chat because when we have activity in the chat, then that also boosts our rating on YouTube. And then they're more likely to um, show our videos, recommend our videos to someone else who watches other plant-based people. So that helps get our name out there. And we really appreciate you guys doing that for us. So thumbs up um, if you got any kind of value out of the video today. If you have any questions, about the bundle. We are happy to answer your questions. If you have technical issues when you go to purchase it, then we do need you to contact uwlbundle at right. gmail.com um, because Tom and I are just participants in the bundle. We are not administrators of the bundle. So mm -hmm. we can't help you with payment links and what links, yeah. things like that. Um, do look for an email from Sendel. That is the archive, this, this, the company that's archiving the bundle uh, for the uh, producers. And as we're talking to producers, um, uh, when you get your invoice, uh, Chef AJ, uh, her, uh, I think it's Chef AJ Unprocessed or something, the company, they are managing for the bundle producers all of the financials. Right. And then Melissa Mars from Our Food Romance uh, did all of the graphics and putting the, um, the, the uploads of all of the recipes and collating everything. Of, so the product you, you're getting was assembled by Melissa. So they have a shared responsibility in that. So, uh, you know, you, you may order with our link, essentially buying it through us. You're being billed by Chef AJ's company, and because we do get we do get emails about that. People say, "Well, I used your. I'm sure I used your link, but it says that I paid Chef AJ." And that's the correct that thing. That is because, the correct because thing because she is one of the co-producers, and they are handling the financials through their through their company. Right. So. Okay. So there you have it. Oh, and we made the Goodman um, Chef AJ's Goodman peanut chews as well. That was also a huge hit and that it that recipe you will find in the bundle and it is a special bonus recipe and so she has a video and the recipe just for that and oh my goodness it tastes like a candy bar it's amazing so it's a little window all by itself it is just oh. that one recipe and one video and a little pdf oh wow okay. just just for the goodman peanut chews you gotta make them they are amazing. Grandkids were here Friday and they went crazy for those. Crazy. Like, really crazy. Okay. Even our little chocolate hater ate them. Mm -hmm. I'm like, did you like that? She said, yeah. And I said, do you know it had chocolate? She's like, yeah. <laughs> I'm not okay. I think her, her distaste for chocolate might, might be more of a political stance than a culinary It one. might be, because everybody be. else likes chocolate, so, so she wants to be different. Yeah. That could okay. be. Okay, we're talking about one of our little ones. So, anyway. Yeah. Okay, okay, you guys. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for the excellent questions. And thank you for supporting us by purchasing um, the bundle. And we just want you to know how much we appreciate that. And um, we look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Yep. And we might be on um, either Facebook or Instagram uh, later today, but I, I don't think we'll have time to hop back on to YouTube because um, we're actually getting together with Chef AJ um, tonight. And so and I got to get uh, Sid and I, I got to get our guest tomorrow. I got to yeah. get her set so up I, for her I, show. So I don't think we'll be back on today. And well, she's um, saying that because yesterday we were here on YouTube with you three times. <laughs> We did the walk and talk, and then we did the something else, and then we did something else. An interview. <laughs> An interview, and then we did the food. So we. I was exhausted. We were living on YouTube. I, I about four thirty. I said, "Are you planning on going on? Okay, on YouTube again?" She said, "No, I was, but now I'm not." Um, this morning at twelve o'clock, I came down to start, you know, rooting out what I was going to do for lunch. 
uh, because we just bought the salad fixings this morning, but we haven't built the salads yet. So I was going to make Tom's famous dump soup. And uh, she said, well, I was thinking we might go on YouTube here in just a little bit. And so the deal was we would go on YouTube at one o'clock and then I would get to eat the food. So <laughs> all of that eating of the food, that was in my contract. That was, that was pre-planned. That, then when it was done, that I was going to be responsible to eat it. Just, just so you guys know. Our okay? collaboration included that I cook and he eat. Life is as it should be. There you go. Okay. It doesn't get any better than that. No. But then I did wash a lot of dishes and I see I have a lot more dishes to wash now. So it's all fair. I'm not trying to be misogynist. So <laughs> anyway, Nobody would I have to pay a price that. for that food. Nobody would accuse you of that. Okay. All right, you guys, thanks so much. Give us a thumbs up and we will see you tomorrow. I'm Tammy. And I'm Tom. And we help you get, get healthy, healthy and stay healthy one, one bundle, bundle at a time. time. See you tomorrow. Woohoo! Bye.